Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to squeeze in as many Halloween. <sighs> I'm trying to squeeze in as many Halloween looks as I can, but think I've definitely got a couple more up my sleeve for you. So today, my idea is, bear with me here, voodoo, witch doctor, mystic Meg. I've got a picture in my mind. I think when it comes to like Halloween makeup, you can be rough around the edges and it can still look really cool. And all of my work, notoriously, halfway through I'm like, oh God mistakes were made but if i actually follow it through right to the end sometimes it actually looks pretty cool and like all of my halloween looks i'm gonna try and make it as quick and as easy as possible so everybody can give it a go i'm gonna be using a combination of face paints and a bit of makeup so let's get to it first things first i think i want to look quite pale again so i'm gonna go in straight away with a liquid foundation that is too light for me and for this next part you will need some black face paint we need to be smart here i don't want to make the mixture very runny because then it's going to take a lot more spreading to blend out so i am going to keep it quite dry and hope for the best. And what I'm going to be doing here, oh, getting it all over myself, I'm going to be drawing a line across here and then blending it down my face. Wish me luck. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hi. I'm using a very flat brush um, by Blue Squid. To be honest, a totally straight line doesn't really matter that much because I think once it's completely finished, I think it will look really sick. <laughs> so now I'm going to take the brush and I'm just going to start working it down my face. It'd almost do you well to run out a bit, I think, because then I think you can like push it around a bit better. Oh my god, I love what you've done with your eyebrows. <laughs> Right, now that's dried a bit, I'm going to try and blend it out. I'm actually then going to take an eyeshadow brush, a fluffy one, and I'm going to try and buff that thinner. Oh, it's already looking pretty frigging cool, isn't it? Cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually just gonna put some black powder on the top of that and that's just basically gonna set that black in place and hopefully then I'm not gonna smudge it everywhere. Chances are I'm gonna smudge it everywhere. But this might reduce the chance of that happening. So, feel like it's worthwhile. So again, I'm starting right at the top of the line that we've drawn because that's where I want the color to be the darkest. And what will happen naturally is as you go, there'll obviously be less product on the brush, so you'll end up blending it pretty well without much effort. I look a little bit like the beginnings of a raccoon though, don't I? You might find me rummaging through your bins tonight. Right, so the next step is I want to try and make my eyes as dark as possible. So I'm going to take this coal pencil and really fill in my waterline. Oh, feels lovely. <laughs> Louis, <gasps> he's just stood right on that paint. I don't know what black paint all through the carpet, mate. Goodness me. Sorry about that. So what I want to do is I want to draw my eyes out both ways, as in like elongate them. So I'm just gonna fill the, both the corners in quite a lot and just pull them out. You do not have to be neat with this because I'm going to go in afterwards with a brush and just really rough it up. Oh, it's just drawing on my actual eyeball then. So I'm just going to use this little stubby brush here to really buff out what I've just done on my eyes because I want it to look really rough and messy. going to do is focus the eyeliner here and kind of make some upside down triangles <laughs> basically 
almost so it looks like you know it's running down my face just gonna take this coal to start off with and really like rub it in at the top and then just sort of drag it down to where I think I want it I use that little stumpy brush just to kind of like get the exact shape that I want So that's actually pretty much all the black we're going to be doing on our faces until we get to our lips but I'm going to save that for later because I want to finish this part first. So now I'm going to draw some symbols and I'm going to be using this tiny little pot of gold paint which is actually a wet liner in the colour golden. I'm going to be using this kind of brush for this um, just so I can be a bit more delicate with my drawing skills. <laughs> See if I have any first. And because this is a wet liner, you do need some water. I've wet my brush. I'm just gonna swirl it in there. Oh God, try not to get it all over me. Here we go, lads, lads, lads. I ain't never done this before, honey. <laughs> so now along the top, I'm just gonna do a couple of dots. Down the centre of my nose, I'm going to do a couple of lines. I'm not going to do anything else with that gold paint yet. It's so easy to go overboard and then you've ruined it. Right, and then for under my eyes here, I'm going to slap on like a gel glitter. This is a face painty one, so it's by Snazaru. And I think I'm actually just going to use my finger if I can open it. Oh, it's dry. Oh no. Okay, well I'm not going to be doing that because it's dry. I've just taken this sparkly silver and literally just running it really haphazardly across those triangles. Right, so now I'm just going to finish my eyes with a little bit of mascara. A little bit of mascara. I'm just going to use this tiny little one from Spectrum. And now I'm going to move on to my lips. I'm just going to put a little bit of foundation on them. There we are. So then I'm going to use the brush that we used earlier. I'm going to use the little stubby side and I'm going to put black on the inside of my lips and kind of blend it outwards. I'm going to use a matte black eyeshadow. And then I'm just using the same brush just to pop a little bit of shadow under my lip. Then we're going to take this little gold pot of wet liner again and I'm actually going to line my lips. Then the last thing that we're actually going to do is I'm just going to put a, sh a gloss over the top of that lip and I'm going to use a little flat brush. That I'm just going to pat it on top. So I lied before. This is the last thing that I want to do. I just forgot about it. I'm going to take some little sticky back gems that I got from Amazon. I'm going to pop them along these dots on my forehead. My forehead. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, thanks. I did better. I want you to do it. All right, darling. So I'm also just going to pop one of those little gems under each one of my eyes. Should I put one under my lip as well? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. We're done. I think that's what's so much fun about Halloween. You can kind of just get really creative and have loads of fun. But there's just a couple of things I want to add. Be right back. Now all I need to do is go and find a crystal ball. Maybe I'll be able to see into the future. So I hope you've enjoyed today's easy Halloween makeup tutorial. I think it's a great option if you want something slightly different for your Halloween costume. If you've liked what we've done today, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Come in my child. Give me your paw. Let me read your future. Oh dear.